Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Aeon State bringing you another Gankfest video. I know it's been a while between my videos, and you guys can tell I've done some leveling since now. Um, Storyline's been so good, I've skipped out on Datacrons and all that other stuff. I will be rectifying that here shortly. So, anyways, I am on Civil War, or Fighting Republic today. So, in a case like this, I normally would opt to go snow with that guy, however, in Gangfest number 8, I had a guy comment that that was the worst agent video he's ever played through. I respectfully agree and disagree. He made some comments, and I pointed out some comments back. For example, he wanted to complain about my opening with frag grenade. Well, if there's multiple people capping an objective, I'm going to freaking try and stop that. Anyways, as you can see here, I got some wood guys. Stop running from me! everybody else? Why in the world do we have three people going snow? Oh, they got somebody over there. That's fine. Hold on. How many people do they have over? Okay. Normally, I would try and keep the pressure on middle so they don't dual cap. I'm going to take a risk. There may or may not be a cloaker over here. He has definitely got expertise on He must have had his version of the agent's frickin' sneak. He has to be specced with the infiltrator equivalent because I just couldn't catch up to him. Oh look, they're all coming back. Putting the Wook fools. Gonna name his Wook. I wonder if I can ninja cap this thing without this guy even realizing it. Channel. Same, same. 
What's going on, Izzy? Trying to get my ass the hell off Corellia. Yeah, that's what I'll be doing soon, trying to get out Corellia. But first, I'm making a Warzone video to show how much my skills have improved since somebody wanted to insult my agent playthrough on one of my Gang Fest videos. <laughs> what are you doing like a Let's Play here? Yeah, it's like Let's Play. That's what Gang Fest is. And he got mad. He was like, why aren't you using Hidden Strike? I'm like, because I don't have it yet. That's a good reason. He was like, you shouldn't open with frag grenade. I'm like, well, if there's more than one person trying to capture a flag or an objective, I'm probably going to open with frag grenade. Right now we're playing with some whoop douchebags who seem to can't win a fight one-on-one, -on -one, so they always have to call in their buddies. Oh, it is a team-based war zone. Yeah, I know. It's just slightly annoying when I get close to killing one and then the whoop multiplies. It always seems like there's. I almost lost it. Just like it was one marauder that was pretty much winning the game for him because he was smack. I swear, it seems like there's more than five Wook in this war zone, though. It's really, really annoying. I really hate that crap, but at the same time, you know that's one feature I want them to add so you can have more than four. I don't. Then why even do right? You just put together a four, an eight-man physics spring and just. I know one thing, they gotta do something about this what ability to where you can just infinite sleep somebody. Cause it does either doesn't generate enough rage or what when they plan that shit out, like when they're running fifties they run multiple groups and sit there and quit and re queue, quit and re queue. If they get into a game and it's not the same game as their other group, they quit. Yeah, that's yeah, I saw him doing it the other day. We actually got up. We had to go up against a uh, eight man with grenade, and we almost beat him just with the Imperial. Bombs. Enemy is unbeatable. Yeah, one of the problems I'm having right now, though, I've noticed this with assassins and the shadows and the operatives and whatever their smuggler equivalent is. The be the able to infinitely sleep or dart or mind sleep somebody is really getting on my nerves because there seems to be no way to counter it. That's just why you gotta not blow your cooldown. Well what they do is they wait until somebody is capping like two of them and then all they do is they keep permanent, permanent sleep or darting them and literally no, almost no resolve is built up in the process. It generates like 200 out of a thousand resolve, and it takes five sleeper darts, and it's it's. Yeah, it takes two sleeper darts to fill resolve. Really? Because I've been sleeper darted five times in a row, and it doesn't do anything. It takes like five times for me to develop full resolve. Man, they, you should write a ticket because you're bugged. I've never had somebody sleeper dart me five times. After uh, the first time, I don't blow my cooldown. I wait for it just to wear off. I mean, if they start capping or something, I blow my cooldown and hit it with something. But yeah, two sleeper guards will blow your resolve off every single time. If it 
it's not, then you need to write a ticket. Right now, I got this smuggler who is freaking impossible to kill. He has got some expertise behind him, and it's annoying me. He's the one who keeps infinite sleeper darting people. would have had a ninja capped if it weren't for him. He was smart enough to check out above the turret. I was like half a second away from capping it and he called me and was like, well yeah. The other guy beside the turret didn't. And this concludes another episode of Gang Fest. As you can see, I do open with hidden strike in case you ever want to complain again. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Please stay tuned for more.